revelation about the former president Noynoy Aquino's death, was Pinoy left to die? The yellows and medias are now starting their favorite game. Every story and statement about Pinoy's death is either aimed in making the current administration look bad or painting the yellows as the good guys. But no one seems interested in knowing why and how Pinoy died. The man was suffering serious renal and diabetes problem. How come he was allowed to skip dialysis twice? How come there's no nurse or doctor attending him when his health status was very, very critical? There was an interview of Pinoy's driver narrating what happened the night before up to the moment he was discovered dead on his chair. The story painted Pinoy's death as peaceful, but it ignored the fact that no health professionals was present the very week Pinoy died. Imagine yourself being a former president. You have several siblings and friends, all super rich and powerful. You are very sick, yet no one was there at your most critical moment of survival. No one cared to date a nurse or doctor to look after you. No one checked if you were able to get the life-saving dialysis sessions. You died alone in your room, sitting dead and cold in your chair all night, only to be discovered the next morning by a maid, a driver, and a bodyguard. Th that was not a peaceful death, it was a tragic death for a rich and powerful former president. Thousands of flowers, songs of praises, and eloquent eulogies in your tomb will not make up for the neglect. Where were his families? Where were his best friends? Where were the nuns, the priests, the bishops? Where were these people who showed love and adoration in front of camera? that were gone during his most vulnerable moments. If only someone cared, Pinoy may still be breathing. Skipping to sessions of dialysis is not an accident. No family member or healthcare professional would allow that to happen. No loving person would allow a very sick dear one in the hands of a maid, a driver, and a body horse. And why did they commit him immediately? Are they ashamed to let the world see how uncared and abandoned dead Pinoy looked physically? Or was he dead a long time ago as some speculated? The narrative that Pinoy died peacefully raised more questions than answers. His driver was interviewed on how he died instead of the attending doctor who pronounced him dead. National disunity was blamed to have caused the death instead of failure to administer necessary medical care to the critical ill patient. They just don't add up. If any, Pena State was a clear evidence what kind of people surround him. Shady and cunning, all greedy, hypocrites, and selfish. He died the most painful death, alone, unloved, and left to die. It now appears a dead Pena was more useful than alive for his gimmick hunger vulture friends. They badly need a new political mileage for the fast coming presidential election. To the very end, Pinay was a victim of his very own Liberal Party standard of public service, pure lip service. band now plays the Parangal sa Pangulo March, composed by Lieutenant Colonel Sager Celestial of the Philippine Army, and commissioned during the presidency of the late President Benigno Simeon Pohuanco.
sorrow at the death of Pinoy. Let our faith be our consolation and eternal life our hope. We pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. We pray also for ourselves on our pilgrimage through life. Keep us faithful in your service. We pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those trespasses. Mangyari lamang pong i-observe natin ang social distance. Sa pagkakataong ito, nais po namin uh, ikayatin ang lahat na magsitayo at bigyan po natin ng pagpupugay ang ating dati, dating Pangulong uh, Benigno, Simeon Cojuanco Aquino III, sa pamamagitan po ng isang masigabong palakpakan. Applause 